what's going on guys it's omni and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be opening over 100 premium arena tickets in age of apes so premium arena tickets those are the golden tickets you can see we have 72 up here and we have a ton on our other account our older account that i want to go ahead and open those up as well so we can get a little bit of a little bit of data here to see what exactly is is the drop rate accurate here what we see this is confusing to me because it says a golden fighter meaning a legendary fighter has a one percent drop chance but then here it says golden fighter is a 1.5 percent drop chance this says blue fighter metal i assume this means purple fighter metal i i, I think i think they're still working on this obviously there's like there's inconsistencies with which letters are capitalized and stuff and obviously they're not called golden fighters so i think they're still working on this this little menu here but looking at the uh the fighters that you can get in here is really interesting you can get roni jaw apparently which is right now i believe the fighter that you get from the i don't know roni jaw was a fighter that i got from the wheel of fortune on my other account so obviously they've changed how he comes around in this video there's a lot that we have to do first of all the latest update was a huge update that they changed how the banana spectrometer is upgraded it looks like they reset all the quests i was able to claim like a ton of quests when i logged in and saw that they actually changed that system but this is the building in your city that is responsible for producing food and iron and so upgrading this is super important and as you can see there's a quest here this was the little roadblock for me is that i have to upgrade a fighter to level 31 so essentially what we have to do is we have to figure out what fighter do we want to invest all of our experience into and i figured the best way to do that would be to use as many tickets as we can and just kind of see where we land in terms of fighters so this is what we're working with here as far as skills we actually have a decent amount of skills over here on scott the reason for that is because you get medals from him for every time that you defeat a mutant monkey for the first time of that level um, and so you kind of accumulate him over time but as far as like the epic fighters here we really don't have that many medals of them unfortunately now my plan for this account was to go all in on mike here and i talked about that in my return video the reason for that is because that he has that circular uh, aoe here and he's the only one in the epic uh in the epic tier that actually has that ability however i was looking at some of the other fighters and when i'm thinking about like who am i going to pair with who right uh obviously there's a lot of great legendary options i have the ability to summon electro jack who i did get from the wheel of fortune but i'm a little bit concerned because in in terms of which troop type I want to focus on shooter actually seems like the least viable for me the reason for that is because there's no other shooters in the epic tier and honestly there's only one of each troop type in the epic tier so it's not like there's a good pairing for just epics anyway at least not as of right now so while that circular AOE is nice if you look at Bruce Bruce actually has more stats for his particular troop type he actually gets 20% attack and this last skill gives you 20% of other stats so 40% stats total whereas the other um, single troop type epic fighters only give you about 35% if you look at and you do the math and kind of add those up especially with Maverick over here as well so uh, Bruce actually gives you more uh, stats for hitters than the others give for their particular troop type and I could pair him with Electro Jack right so that's a pairing that I could have that both care about hitters which is nice I have no pi or I'm sorry I have no shooters to pair with Mike and if we look at pilots well you know you can get tiny from the uh, daily bundles and then also you have uh, what's his name you have Oscar here and you can straight up buy Oscar from uh, the VIP levels and he's a pilot as well and so a, uh, an Oscar tiny combo would be a amazing um, but also you could just get straight up oscar maverick and that would be a reasonable combo as well because they're both pilots uh, and so that leaves me with the uh the option of picking either maverick or bruce and even though i wanted mike initially um logically i feel like these two might be the better options now of course we are just talking about experience right now so if i invest in experience into bruce and then change my mind i could always just start training up a different one so it's not the end of the world uh, but i am going to be going for bruce right now so what we're going to do is we're going to add some experience and now this experience here you can see all the experience I actually have a lot of experience here for being such a low level and i want to tell you the trick to getting all of this fighter experience super super easy literally just go around the map 
and explore those subway entrances as you can see here and as you send out your scouts um, you're going to be getting uh you're going to find these rocket wreckages this is where you're going to get all your experience you can see here i get 3000 experience just for clicking on it i literally am just sending out my scouts and then just clicking on the rocket wreckages that's it you get experience for most of them some of them you see uh some of them you actually get some of the earlier economic technologies absolutely for free so you don't have to spend any time or resources to research them but as you can see here i'm getting a ton of experience here you get some level one hitters as well so you do actually get to build up a small army of tier one units just from doing this which is really good look it's, it's experience almost every single time which is just absolutely incredible now if you're thinking about how do i find these rocket wreckages around the map well you obviously have to send out your scouts um, and if you go ahead and do what the intel station suggests you to do it suggests that you pick a piece of fog it's actually relatively close to your uh to your city here you can see i'm here it suggested i scout over here um what i do is i actually go to the farthest part of the map and that's where i send my scouts i only do that if there's no subway entrances to scout because obviously i want to go get whatever's in them that's where all the value is in actually uncovering things on the map so there's some tips for you guys uh there's a faster way to clear the fog in the map and that is to send your uh, scouts as far as possible and, and during that time they're going to be finding all of those rocket wreckages click on all of those over time scout all of those subway entrances and you're going to be able to get a ton of uh, of experience that you can then use for your fighters, which is exactly how I have this experience here. Now, one other thing I want to document really quick, uh, I did just start from 13 to 14 and it did pop this bundle. It's a $10 bundle. And I was comparing this bundle actually to another bundle here, the novice pack, which seems to be really good value compared to some of the other things because it is a, it's a $10 bundle. And here you have to buy through. I haven't uh, actually did. I, I don't think I, I may have bought the $5 bundle here. I don't remember. I, I bought a couple of things just to reach VIP five so I could summon a uh, Laurent, Laurent, uh, Laurent, Laurent. Yeah. But regardless, this actually has more speed ups and more CDs than the $10 novice pack. However, the $10 novice pack actually has way more uh, resources. So keep that in mind. Also the novice pack is has universal speed ups, whereas this is just building. Um, but yeah that's just something to to know i would say if you need the speed ups and cds which who doesn't uh this is actually a pretty decent value but it's only around for two hours okay i was gonna put the experience into bruce right now but i think it's actually smarter to open up all the tickets first just to see how many medals we get so first we're gonna open up the 11 uh basic regular tickets here we're gonna get at least one medal from an epic because we'll have reached that nine ticket threshold we got some more scott which is nice we're not done with scott and honestly i've been using scott more than anybody because he does help you uh, level up your fighters a bit faster so let's open up five more here and we will get at least one epic um metal here so we got maverick we got one maverick which is nice i suppose let's go ahead and use our last normal ticket and what do we get here just uh 20, food okay so what we're going to do is we're going to be opening up these uh, premium tickets five at a time um, just to see what we get. Hopefully we can get some legendaries. That would be really cool. Um, and we'll just start it off with that with that five drop right there. So we get some Sir Francis. I actually need Sir Francis, which is good. Um, I haven't summoned uh, Korotopi or Fuscata. So getting five of them is actually really, really good. Um, I need everything here. So this is actually good. And that's the beauty of opening these tickets early game is you literally need everything. So really you, you don't have any bad uh, pulls obviously we're looking mainly for metals though so more uh, epic Fus fuscata really really good right there as many epics as we can obviously we want legendaries there we go we got a full summon of him now if, if i'm not mistaken he is mainly uh to put on your on your defensive walls and also i think he gives you more experience when uh fighting the mutants out in the open field so um yeah really good stuff there we're definitely going to be using him to if 
for nothing else for pve content uh which is which is good we're still in the other game we need that stuff still no uh legendary tier items we're, we've used uh, 20 tickets already so let's go ahead and continue opening them we're gonna just we're just gonna press on we got five brutes really good three more so eight brutes that's really really good uh, again that's the one that we were mainly planning on investing in so the more of him the better um but again it it is what it is um we got more oh okay 10 mike i like that mike is mike is like i said he's a great great choice for an epic uh, i just don't know who i would pair him with other otherwise i absolutely would be investing in mike because i already have started doing that that was the plan from the beginning um but anyway let's see what we get here i feel like we've gotten a lot of epics which is good the epic medals i think are a 12 percent drop rate so we should be seeing a decent amount of them we do have a legendary in here somewhere which is crazy okay it was just a legendary gene potion nothing that exciting there i mean obviously i'll use this but uh i need legendaries to use it on right so that's more important in in the early game for me at least we got 10 more mike nice dude we're getting a ton of him um uh, i'm gonna have to really level him up as well i'm gonna i'm gonna find a way to level him and bruce up as much as possible we have 27 more so we uh we're really burning through these haven't gotten a single um legendary uh we haven't gotten a single legendary summon at all or metal or anything um this was a really bad five ticket pull honestly for for premium tickets those those rewards are not that great but it is what it is there's not going to be an epic in this one either that's crazy okay so those back to back terrible i mean the hours of speed ups are good but you know we're, we're really looking for medals here that's what we want from the arena right it's the arena the arena is supposed to have medals in it we got maverick okay so we got 10 maverick uh medals which is really good it seems like we've gotten at least one summon of each of the oh my god okay so there's korotopi so we got two I'm pretty sure that's i'm pretty sure a full summon of an epic is a really low chance and so the fact that we just got two in one it's a three percent chance seriously i don't know that seems did i just get mega lucky there i don't know okay so hey that's really cool um let's keep opening these up it looks like there's not going to be anything interesting in here we've got five more to go at least there's going to be an epic in this one let's see what it is mm. all right we got my boy rodriguez only two more left on this account and then uh once we do some leveling up with my experience we'll jump on over to the other one so nothing good in that one either just an hour of speed up what did we get from this one and fifty thousand iron okay okay what is this it says showtime why did this bundle pop did i open a certain number of tickets is that what that is okay so it's a five dollar bundle it gets you 1250 cds which is on par with everything else it gets you no speed ups right no speed ups and eight tickets and a mini gene potion so this is good value here right but from all those tickets we just opened we didn't get a single legendary and i just i don't know i don't think that i think what this bundle really is right this bundle is really just cds vip and arena tickets that's really where the value comes in here because like this amount of experience is a joke compared to how much i got from the map for free so i don't know if this bundle is worth it i just the value in the tickets like even if you got all speed ups from this i just don't think you would get that much value now obviously if you get lucky and you get a legendary then that's great for five dollars but the odds are super low it's a one percent chance right so I, I don't know but watch 12 normal fights watch 14 legendary fights so we're gonna get some nice value just from these quests here which i like it looks like every two fights we get a universal epic medal is that really how long is that gonna okay now it's up to every three fights beginning universal um okay it's still every three fights we just watched like 70 something fights so that's great okay now it's every five fights but it's still giving us universal okay now it's every 10 okay all right i got it um <clears throat> every okay so we're good all right we got a ton of free rewards there just for opening them up all at once which was really great okay so we can put a lot of skills on a lot of fighters here let's go ahead and see what we can do with scott um we have 50 of his medals i actually want to start putting skills here but i don't want to put in an experience into um a fighter that really isn't going to be good for pvp 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just max out that skill there because I just, I don't know, I guess the extra 2% march speed will be good for, for defeating the mutants. Um, here, we're definitely going to go for the increased capacity and march speed because he's just, I'm basically just using Sir Francis for gathering right now. Man, I could go for the shooter stats, but I just want that AoE. I just want that AoE, honestly. Okay, Maverick, I'm going to actually level up a little bit here because I want to put some skills on him and I do want to... Uh, put a skill up on one of the skills that I don't have right now. Go all in on the pilot's tree right here. I wonder if we can get lucky and just bring them all the way up to four stars. Oh, we didn't get lucky, damn it. Okay, here's where we go ahead and just dump experience into Bruce. Can we get lucky with this one? Come on. Hey, we did. Oh, sick, dude. Okay, so we can actually, we have access to all of his skills now, which is amazing. Yeah, I can just blow right past all these levels because I already got all of his skills unlocked. Okay, sweet. So let's just dump all this into him and we'll bring him up as high as we can. And uh, we'll take it from there. I wonder if I have enough experience to get him. I should have enough experience to get him to 31. Maybe? Depends on how many of these I have. Yeah, okay. We definitely have enough. So there we go. We got him to 31. That was the goal. Now let's flesh out this talent tree a little bit. Uh, I did grab this march speed here. I think I'm going to focus on the top of this tree because I like this talent more than I like this talent. Oh, wow. We were able to make it all the way over here as well. Dang. Okay. So, all right. We've invested really heavily in the hitter tree. I don't know if that's the best strategy, but... Um, I do plan on, on using him for mainly hitters, so that sounds pretty reasonable to me. Okay, so we have a fighter at four stars, so we get the we get the quest for that. We also get uh, some free CDs for a lot of other stuff. Wait, did I? That just said reach one million power. I don't. I didn't reach one million power. What was I misreading that? I don't know. Let's collect this. We got a nice uh, hour of building speed ups, and boom, we get five more tickets for the arena. So let's go ahead and open those, I guess. Why not, right? Let's go ahead and pop open five more. Maybe we'll get a legendary here. Please, please, please. Okay, we got more Maverick, which is fine. I was hoping for Bruce there, because we didn't really get as much Bruce as we did everybody else, but that's okay. We're gonna get him with uh, we're gonna get him with our last ticket here. No problem, not a big deal at all. We're gonna get a full Bruce summon. No, we're gonna get a full legendary. No, we didn't get anything good. Okay, so we're on the other account and we have 33 of the premium tickets here. So we're gonna open all those as well. But first, we gotta open the free one. Obviously, we're gonna get the bad luck out of the way by opening up this free regular ticket let's pop open this regular ticket as well just again just getting all the green garbage out of the way right up front so that way when we open these legendary ones we're gonna get some cool stuff now of course i've mainly been playing on my new account not this one but <clears throat> because of that i'm probably gonna get some sort of really amazing legendary thing here on this account and not on the one that i've been using more often i'm still trying to decide which account do i want to play more um i'm leaning more towards the new account just because why not um but having this account this account is still more powerful than the other one. Oh my god we have a legendary we have a legendary holy jesus okay we actually got two legendary medals for maximus that's crazy i'm super upset that i didn't get it on the other account and again that, that i feel like i just have more legendary stuff on this account than wow we're just getting a ton of rodriguez today than on the other one so it's like i feel like i should keep playing on this one but I don't know I, I guess maybe not anyway let's see we got five mike um okay i'm actually still impressed that we did we just got two maximus right that's really really crazy um i thought he was one of the oh there's bruce <clears throat> i thought he was one of the um the uh, ultimate monkey uh fighters that you got but apparently they changed that or i thought maybe he was part of vip I'm confused now. Um, we're gonna have to check on that because that doesn't seem like it makes sense. Let's open up this last ticket here just to see what we get. We got something blue. That's nothing too exciting usually. All right, we got a, we got an hour of speed up. Um, here's that same bundle. I don't know. Maybe if you pop open, wow, 140. Okay. Uh, maybe if you pop open like 20 at a time or something, or if you summon an epic. I don't know what triggers that bundle. That must be a new bundle. Oh, it's Mastodonte. Never mind. I, it's not. It's not Maximus. Okay. Oh, he was from the Ultimate Monkey. Okay, so you could have gotten him from Ultimate Monkey, but you also can get him from those premium tickets. Okay, that makes sense. 
all right guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an age of apes video comment down below any questions that you have about age of apes or about the summoning mechanics in the arena i'll try to answer all those as best as possible as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram and twitter discord everything is in the description and as always there's a link in the description below to download age of apes absolutely for free so make sure you click that and give the game a try with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon Peace.